first step is that if you remove this support roller support at point this point like this is point one so we'll have a reaction force which is r1 and if you remove this pin support at this point at this point this point number two so you will be having a reaction force which is r2y and there will be a horizontal component which will be equal to r2x so we'll find this r1 r2y and r2x by using equation of equilibrium but first we will divide this distributed load first into a rectangular load so you can see whole this shaded portion is rectangular having a magnitude of two kips per feet and then there is a triangular load you can see this blue color this one is in triangular region let me write again okay so this triangular is now the magnitude here will be equal to six minus two will give you four kips per feet okay and again we will divide uh, we will convert this distributed load when converting it into a point load so it will be at, at the middle and this magnitude will be equal to two multiplied by the length over which it acts which is eight so that will be equal to 18 not 8 18 so 2 into 18 is uh, 36 this is 36 kip load and this blue color triangular load when converted into a point load so i will write it over here it will be equal to 1 over 2 multiply by this 4 and the length over which it acts which is 18 and that will act at a distance of l by 3 from this side so l is 18 so 18 by 3 is 6 feet so 6 feet from this side and 12 feet from this side okay and the distributed load since it is acting at the net so it will be at a distance of half of the 18 which is equal to 9 feet now we can apply the equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force toward right is taken as positive so from this you can see only the horizontal force which is r2x is acting there is no other force so it means that r2x is equal to zero now we'll find the second force by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about point two is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about this point two first moment will be this r1 into perpendicular distance is 18 and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so i can write it as minus r1 times 18. the second force that is producing moment is this 2 into 18 and perpendicular distance will be this one which will be equal to 9 feet and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i can write plus 2 multiplied by 18 into 9. the last force that is producing moment about point 2 is this force multiplied by perpendicular distance is 6 and this is also producing counterclockwise so it will be positive so i can write plus 1 over 2 4 multiplied by 18 into perpendicular distance 6 is equal to 0. now we will get minus 18 r1 plus 2 multiplied by 18 multiplied by 9 is 324 so 324 plus 4 into 18 multiplied by 6, 4 into 18 multiplied by 6, divided by 2 is 216, is equal to 0. So 324 plus uh, 216 plus 324 is 540, so it means that 18 R1 is equal to 540. So if you divide this answer by this answer by 18, you will get 30. So from here, R1 is equal to 30. Okay. Now you have this R1, so we will find this R2Y by using the third equation of equilibrium, that is, sum of all forces in our y direction must be equal to 0, and upward forces taken as positive. So you can see R1, which is plus minus this 36 minus this 4 multiplied by 18 divided by 2 is 36 so it is also 36 so minus 36 plus r2y is equal to 0 so from here you will get this 13 minus 36 minus 36 is 42 minus 42 so r2y will be equal to 42 kips now you have all these three reaction forces 